Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is April 13th, and the title of today's devotional is, What to Do When Your Burden is Overwhelming. Cast Your Burden Upon the Lord, Psalm 55 and verse 22. Taking a moment initially to consider today's focus verse from Psalm 55, King David speaks at length regarding a seeming particular enemy. David shares with complete honesty his thoughts regarding the situation, the fear it caused him, his desire to hide. What makes matters even worse, it seems like this enemy is someone who used to be counted as a friend. Beginning though with verse 16, the king starts speaking of his faith, that he trusts in God to bring him through this situation. David wishes to share his faith with his reader, as is seen in how with verse 22, it seems he almost makes it a command. You too, like have I, put your burdens on the Lord and he will sustain you. Dr. Chambers instructs us that we must recognize the difference between burdens that are right for us to bear and burdens that are wrong. We should never bear burdens of sin or doubt, obviously due to our should not having lives filled with sin and doubt. In the years uh, now seven past, sin continually created worry, worry within me because of the manner in which I lived. The burden wasn't over what I was doing as being wrong, but fear of being caught. Worry continually plagued me about being found out of the ways I had treated people and taken advantage of different situations. We should not be constantly worrying about sin nor filled with doubt, wondering whether God loves us and will sustain us. Such burdens are carried by the unrighteous who do have reason for worry and fear. Chambers continues, there are some burdens that are placed on us by God, which he does not intend to lift off. God wants us to roll them back on him, to literally cast our burden, which he has given you, onto the Lord. There is a, 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 one of those oft-spoken sayings that, that states, God will never put on you more than you can bear, which is supposed to be of encouragement in times of trial, supposing that the Lord will never weight us down with hardships beyond what we can handle on our own. That's a lot of garbage and not scriptural at all. The Bible actually says, For we do not want you to be unaware, brethren, of our affliction which came to us. We were burdened excessively beyond our strength so that we despaired even of our life. We would not trust in ourselves but in God who raises the dead. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 8 and 9. Paul says that he would not trust his strength and wisdom but solely in God. God wants us to lean on him as the proverb teaches. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. God doesn't depend on us to depend on us, but to lean on him, to cast your burden upon him, and he will sustain you. Starting with the second verse of the book of James, he says, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. James 1, verses 2 and 3. The author doesn't say if, but when in life you are going to encounter various kinds of trials. Trials can be uh, trials can work to push the non-believer away from God, yet the same set of events in the life of the believer will draw him, him or her nearer to God, for the believer knows from where comes their help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth, Psalm 121 and verse 2. Dr. Chambers shares, if we will only roll back on God the burdens he has placed on us, he will take away that immense feeling of responsibility, replacing it with an awareness and understanding of himself and his presence. In closing, he shares, commit to God whatever burden he has placed on you. Don't just cast it aside, but put it over onto him and place yourself there with it. You will see that your burden is then lightened by the sense of companionship, but you should never try to separate yourself from the burden. If you haven't yet read today's devotional from Dr. Chambers' book, I encourage you to do so, for it will enhance the time that we spend together. It's available free online. Please also below share any comments or questions that you might have over today's study, and, and also please share prayer requests as well. And now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for his highest. God bless you. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye now.